the very first question that comes into mind that when we are having the electric field then what's the need of defining electric potential let's say this is an arbitrary region and in this region we are having no charge that is the source charge is equal to zero then this will tell us from Coulomb's law we came to know about this thing that electric field will be zero in that region is the source charges are equal to zero now if for example we are having two positive charges like we are having a positive charge here and a positive charge here and both are of the same magnitude q and q now the field at the center is E equal to zero. Look here and here. These are two different scenarios. Like for example, we are having this region here. Any arbitrary region in which we are having this situation. Here the electric field is zero because there are no source charges. Here are the source charges, but the electric field is zero. Now these two things are zero. This we say that this is due to the source and this is due to the geometry. So the two e equal to zero, how we will tell the mathematics that this e equal to zero is different from this e equal to zero. And there comes the need that this one is coming out to be zero due to the reason that the two electric fields are canceling each other due to their vectorial nature. So the concept of electric potential comes here that we need something not depend on the vector form or is not supposed to be vector in nature but to be a scalar and here we will not be equal to zero but here v is equal to zero as well for example we are having a meter and that meter is measuring only the electric field here in this room so if i will be having that meter and there are for example charges on one wall and on the other wall and i'm checking through the meter and i'm going here at the center then i will see that there is zero electric field the meter will be reading zero electric field and then i will conclude that there are no charges but this conclusion will not be correct because I will have to keep in mind the vectorial nature of the electric field. My meter should have also another option to check the voltage as well, to check the potential as well. And when it is on the potential, then I am moving and I will feel that the potential is not equal to zero. So I will say that there are charges. And if the potential also come out to be zero, so I will rule out the possibility of any charge only in that situation and not to decide only on the electric field.